Hello and welcome, I'm Rob from Reach11 and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. It's really easy and simple to do and it's going to make your Minecraft look amazing. Okay, so I'm going to label the links 1 to 4 and the first one is going to be Magic Launcher. It's something that just makes installing mods really easy. So, downloaded for Windows so I don't condone of doing the Mac option. Um, okay, once something's downloaded it's gonna be this. So double click on that and it will look like this. I've just put down here to hide my email address because I've migrated my account by accident. So it shows off that. Um, once you're on here, you're gonna want to click setup and you will not see these. You won't see these. Um, let's click OK. So when you click it, you will have this. Uh, it will be blank. So you need to download your mods. Exit out of that. Okay, so the second link will be for Optifine. Okay, so it tells you to get the magic launcher. Um, you want D5, HD D5 Ultra for while I'm on 1.47 in the And the download is here. So once you've downloaded that, it will look like this Optifine. And after that, I will label this one number 3. And you can download this from one up here. I have gone past it. Here, yes, for C, for Minecraft Optifine HD Ultra D5. And that one will look like uh, this. And lastly, you're going to want to download Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. And here we go, there it is. And that one will look like this. Okay, so once you have those done, you are going to want to go back to your setup and click Add and make your way to the folder. Folder here. One's just on the desktop. And firstly, add Optifine. Okay. So you will see uh, the status is okay. If you see something that says not okay or is in big red bold writing, then yeah, you've done something wrong. Backtrack. See if you followed this uh, word to word. Uh, if you have, it's probably uh, something to do with your compatibility between mod and Minecraft version. Um, if not, backtrack to a different version. Upgrade to your version. See where you went wrong there. Okay, so after that you're going to want to add the shader one, and the same applies for that. Red means bad, you can have a backtrack. Okay, once you've done that you can click test, or okay, I am going to click test because it doesn't involve logging in and hiding everything in. I recommend clicking OK though, so then it saves short details. Okay, so once this is open, you're going to want to make a new world, or go on a server, or whatever, I've just made a tutorial. And what you're going to notice is that nothing has really changed. No, um, apart from, let me just make this bigger, it will give you options. Optifine helps you improve your render distance, performance, etc, etc. I am actually on a normal rendering distance at the moment, as you can see from the fog. But I have a GTX 680, so I mean rendering isn't a problem on normal Minecraft. I've just got this set down for a bit for the shader in a minute. So, you're going to want to go to Options and Shaders. You will see the None and Internal. You don't want those. You want to open up your Shader Packs folder. This pops up. Once that's pop up, popped up, uh, you are going to want to go back to where you downloaded Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. Seuss or whatever. Uh, you want to go and drag that into your Shader Packs. Uh, you can create a copy or whatever, but make sure it's in there. As a zip, do not unzip it. And it pops up in there. Double click. And done done. Back to game. And as you can see, it looks pretty damn good. Uh, so where's the sun? Where's the sun? There it is. If we get under a tree, I'll show you the gold ray it rays. Right. Uh, great. Bloody jungle. Okay. There we go. See? These, like, kind of god rays coming down, peeking through the trees. Um, actually, they don't look that obvious at the moment. But they do look good, if you can find a good spot. Um, you got the waving of the trees and of the grass. Waving of the grass. Yeah. There we go. We got some quad rays coming through here. You can just about see. Oh, I mean, it just looks stunning though. But make sure your rendering distance is not up too too far, <laughs> unless you've got a pretty damn good rig. I mean, mine's pretty good. It's Intel for i7 and GTX 680. But still, you set this thing to uh, to a really far rendering distance and you're just burning out your card. I mean, mine's running at 51 degrees at the moment. That will rise the longer I am on this. It's been up to 64 degrees uh, without the fan turned up too high. But another thing you can notice is the water shader. Um, I don't know if it's buggy or not, but it looks a bit too clear. It looks pretty good once you're under it. Um, 
but I think it's fine I think it still looks good. It looks better than the original in, it, in any case. Um, some things to point out. You're going to want to go to your video settings and quality. Sonic Eater's uh, thread uh, tells you that it works best when you have connected te textures off, your an anisotropic filtering off, and your anti-aliasing off. Uh, all these things make it work better, apparently. Um, so yeah, there you go, tips. Um, I'm not sure how Camtasia is going to record this. If it doesn't turn out so well, I'll put a nicer, I'll put a nice like graphics, graphic-y showcase at the end of this recording. Perhaps I've just taken off my head now to give you a little bit of a better look at this. Um, so what did that take? That took like five minutes. Um, granted, I had them pre-installed just to save on time. But it's really, really easy to get Minecraft looking amazing, and I've I've only got the default texture pack on as well uh, to boot. So put a, put a better texture pack on. I see you see you got some cold rays now, um, and you you're gonna get you're gonna get some amazing looking effects. But make sure you have a good rig uh, because it's gonna burn. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Rob from Reach11. Please comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps. Keeps me doing these videos. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.